What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1986 Chevy C10 4x4. This thing pretty tall. It's got a Vortec. Like it's got power steering, power brakes, oversized wheels and tires, long bed. Seems pretty quiet. Running nice and smooth. And we're gonna be taking it down the road. Anything that I see flaw wise, you're gonna be, be told about it. I mean, that's why I do these videos. I tell you what's wrong with them so you know what you're getting before you get here. We do have 100 detailed pictures inside out and underneath. We do have financing and shipping available and we do this on every car that comes through the lot. So, if you hit subscribe, you can see multiple videos from us. I'm just barely able to reach up here and pull this hood down. Guys, just sit back, relax, because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those beds. Do you think the horn works on this one? Coming across the top of the dash. Let's see what's under this. It's actually pretty clean. I mean, it looks good. Got like a piston for the four-wheel drive shifter. Let's go ahead and start her up. The seat in this one's been redone. It's pretty nice and clean. Headliner's sagging there. Let's see, it needs to be re-glued. Carpet's been changed out. All your gauges below the dash. Temperature's coming up. The battery gauge is not charging. Um, it's not hooked up, so what's gonna be the issue there. And the oil pressure's up, so. See it kind of moving around on the dash here. Let's go ahead and turn the radio on. Torque. Blower motor? Blower motor is working on this one. Wipers? They are working. Okay. It's showing 19,000 miles. Of course, every 100,000 goes back to zero. And the gas gauge is showing a quarter tank. We'll be watching it. It starts floating around and it'll show me that it is working. Horn, did you place your bets? Let's see. I don't hear anything. I don't think the horn's hooked up at all. Okay, let's hit the road. We'll see how she runs and drives. Okay. Well, where's the other seatbelt? I don't see the other end of the seatbelt. I only see the, the center ones. So I don't think it's got it on either side there. Reverse here is working. Drive, good. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and roll out. Anything I see, you'll know about it. That's why I'm doing these videos for you. Here we go. Speedometer is coming up on the dash. Truck is going pretty straight down the road. It's very bumpy. I can already tell. Feel the road now. Let's go ahead and floor it. Seems to be pulling pretty strong. Getting into those brakes. They pull to the right, but they're stopping fast. They may have a little dust on them. That was the tailgate came down. I was wondering what that was. I think it reshut the tailgate. I guess somebody didn't shut it all the way. Passing gear is hooked up on this one. Should be shifting down into another gear. Just may not be hooked up. The brake stopped pulling. It's pretty smooth. Coming up to the red light. There's no bumps in the brakes. Just feels good. Engine temperature is sitting easy at uh, 185. Oil pressure is at 40. What we're going to do is go to the parking lot over here, get some outside shots, get some undercarriage shots.
and then towards the end of the video I'm gonna do a walk around looking at the body looking for chips scratches rust dents anything of that nature so stick around to the very end and you'll know everything about this ride We found our parking lot. I'll be right back. Okay, let's head on back to the lot. So far so good. Did the uh, walk around video. So I'm gonna put that at the end. Stick around for it. Here we go, guys. Uh, the tailgate does lock and it stays up. I'll show you that at the end as well. The latch was just sticking and it was stuck out. And I just pushed it back in. And now it's holding good. Looks like the speedometer is pretty correct. Yeah, punching it, it's not shifting down. Just may not be hooked up. I keep checking that just to make sure. It's got a rough country set up, so it's not as bumpy, but it's still a jacked up truck. So it's not gonna be the smoothest ride. So we're gonna hit a bump up here and you'll be able to listen and hear. I'm sure you'll notice it over that one. Motor sounds great. Got good oil pressure. Driving down the road's 50. Here's this bump right here. Now listen. Oh yeah. Good little bump there. I'm right around the corner from the car lot. And guys, if you don't mind, hit subscribe. We're going to picking out the flaws up next. So stick around for that. I do appreciate you watching.
Okay, let's walk around this truck. Anything I see, you'll know about it. I'm gonna pick out flaws, chips, scratches, rust, dents, if it's there. I'll say something. Detail pictures on the website at maplemotors.com. The front bumper on this one has got a lot of fitting on it. Ding right there up top, which we're going down the sides here in a minute. Let's look over the grill first. Got a little crack down here chips in that lower portion below the grill little wax light scratches put over the fender yeah a few spots of wax down here that are left over bottom of the door it's pretty good chip here Got some dirt on the side picked up by the tires. Get a chip up here in that door. I guess they don't have a gas tank on this side. Got some dirt from the road on the back here. Light scratches. Vacuum midsection, it's a little wavy. Coming down the bed. Door handle. A little bit of pitting. A couple chips here in the door. A little spot on the fender there up top. The little bubbles in the paint really small stuff looking over your front windshield the seal looks good the window's in good shape little spot there mirrors looking good little scuff right here seal around that vent window's in good shape you can see the metal on it to be touched up. That one is loose. It's a magnet tag up there. Back window's in good shape. Put the tag back. Down through the bed. Ding right here. Little cracks around the lettering. Bumper on the back, not looking too bad. Some spots back here. Coming back. This side, lower portion. Got a little paint run there. Light specks at the bottom from dirt kicked up from the road. A ding here. Light scratch on top there. Back that midsection. A little hazy on the paint job and the door in the middle here. It's just a little bit off. 
that scuff. Pitting on this door handle as well. It's just wavy coming down this bed, both sides. Back window on this one looks pretty good. The seal looks good. Tell you what, we're gonna jump up in the bed there and look at the roof too. A little bubble there. Up your pillar, kind of your front window. Not bad, in decent shape. A little scuff there. Top of that fitter. Let's jump up in the bed. And uh, all it was on the tailgate is they left that handle out, so it just wasn't, it wasn't going to lock. I mean, push the handle back down, and now it's locked. But it is sticking, it needs to be greased up. Let's jump up in here. Since the four-wheel drive is not going to work, this is laying back here. Roof on this one looks like it may have a little bit of hail damage. You see some light little bumps, scratch. Good deal. Let's jump around. We're gonna go ahead and check out the interior now. And then we'll get this motor started. Just got electric fans, aluminum radiator. Door panel on this one is in pretty good shape. Weather stripping's got a spot here missing. Seal around the door jam looks good. Your seat has been replaced. Your carpet has been replaced. It could be tucked a little bit right there. But it's in really good shape. Painted over there. Coming on down with the hood. A ding right here in the front. Spot in the front there. 
a little wave right there on top of the cow hood. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video, and I'll keep making them for you. Go to maplemotors.com for detailed pictures, financing, and shipping. And I do thank you for watching. See you later.